Hey everyone, this is Larry from WSTrades.com doing a technical analysis video on ticker symbol ABNB, which is Airbnb. Uh, so as you can see, they haven't been trading for too long. It was December of 2020 uh, when they had the IPO, had this you know massive run up on the day and then just sold off and then you, know, you see these massive moves they've been making. So she so said they're high at about two, almost 220 and sold off and Again, massive moves, massive moves. The overall, just a fat downtrend uh, since about March. Um, and then they had this low at about 229. Uh, and then since then, and that was in about May, uh, just been in a nice little uptrend, some nice consolidation here. We sold off and tested that 129 level. And then ever since then and that was in uh july of this year it's been a nice little uptrend uh if you're making higher lows uh making some pretty big moves i'm gonna zoom in here so you got these pretty big moves uh, especially on this day in it was 8 24 just massive move up i have no idea what kind of news there was on that but since then it's always traded right above this uh the 21 make this like two atr move and sell off to the uh, 21 EMA and then same thing make a big move sell off to the 21 make a big move sell off to the 21 tried to make a move here and then got just shot back below this 21 so right now I'm thinking this uh, trend line that I have drawn from let's see uh, July 19th candle to the uh, August 20th candle I think this is going to come into play here i do believe since they finished below this 21 uh the rsi is sitting right in the middle uh you got the momentum falling completely off of this thing on the ttm histogram same thing with the uh, macd histogram hit below i think they are going to come down here and test this trend line i don't know you know what dollar level it's going to be at say you know if they tested it tomorrow it'd fall about 156 but i think we're probably especially now that we uh, started a squeeze on this thing yesterday uh, it's probably going to be some like slow chugging some nice consolidation until it hits this trend line and then I think it's going to come back up make a pretty big move uh, because in the news you have all analysts and this was on the first of the month you had uh, BTIG research adjusted their price target to 190 from 170 maintains a buy rating loop capital same thing just their price target to 205 from 195 maintained by or maintains a buy rating so you have all of the uh analysts saying that you know this thing's definitely still a buy and you know adjust their price targets even higher uh the only thing that's kind of negative but i don't see it as you know too big of a deal was one of the co-founders sold 321,000 shares at an average price of 170. Um, i couldn't find anything on the uh, internet yet because it was just a, a filing so that's all it's telling me is that the co-founder sold the, the shares uh, from a form 4 filing I couldn't find anything on even uh, Benzinga where that article came from on how many shares uh, he still owns I guarantee that was just a, a small portion so it's not like he's trying to jump ship or anything so yeah uh, right now I think with all of the indicators showing momentum's falling off of this thing I think they're probably going to come test this trend line at some point and then you know once it hits that i'd see it making a, a fat move up but for right now like shorter term probably some chop sideways until this thing comes down just a bit and then uh, makes a fat move up so you know if you're looking at this chart i would draw the line uh, just like i got it from the uh july 19th candle where we had the sell-off back down still made a uh, higher low to the uh, August 20th candle and just keep an eye on that price level. So if you guys have any other tickers you want me or James to take a look at and give uh, our honest opinion on the technical analysis, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments and please like and